it's a uh, it's a beautiful walk, and it's one that Sean and I walked, uh, uh, both of us, uh, on on many occasions. And it's a place that I think he really loved, and uh, a place that um, both of our families have been on holiday many times. And so we've we've got a quite a strong connection with the area. So there'll be loads of memories for you. And, and it was also a walk, wasn't it, that you were due to do together a couple of years ago. And this time, instead, yeah. you'll be doing it with his friends and family and for a brilliant cause as well. Yes, that's right. Um, in fact, I've, I've organised a couple of these uh, in the past, and Sean came on both of those with his family and um, in 2015 and 2017, and that was for, for cancer research. We walked the Ridgeway. And... Um, uh, so this time, yes, it, it was. It's going to be Sean's, uh, his his wife, his kids, some of his relatives, and a lot of friends, and some uh, you know some comics, some comedian friends um, who are going to be joining us for a few days as well. And what I loved about your uh, tribute, I think you wrote at the time of his death in in one of the newspapers. There's so many glowing tributes yeah. to Sean, but you you knew him so well, and I think you said that both of you used to use each other as a sounding board. And there must be times mm. now when you you come up with a great joke, and you know when he was around, you would have called Sean up and said, "What do you think of this?" That must be something that you really miss, surely, from that relationship. Yeah, definitely. Oh, very much so. I mean, I think it's right. I think. Um, what you, when you're referring to was the fact I, I said that it, he was a great um, confidant as well. You know, he was a, so, a sounding board, not just for, for comedy, for material, but for everything, you know, decisions, you know, life decisions, advice. You know, he was he was always there on the end of the phone for that. And um, and, you know, he, he was he, he was he was annoying because he was usually right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's one of those people. And you and he, yeah. you, you go back an incredibly long way, don't you? Was was there a time when you first met? You know, sometimes that special person walks into your life and you think, I'm going to spend a lot of time with this guy and we're going to be good friends. Yeah. Um, do you know what? I was thinking about this, uh, you know, because I've been thinking a lot about Sean recently because, of course, it'll be a year I can't believe it would be a year in August uh, since since he died. And uh, and I was thinking about this <laughs> the first time we met. And we were doing a gig, I think, together in West London. And uh, and we just got on really well. I mean, I think there's, some, there's sometimes when you meet someone and you just click. And mm. I think we just had a very similar sense of humour. And he, you know, we made each other laugh. And we, we just... I don't know. It was one of those sort of nights where we were also in. The, there was a fun night. It was a great comedy night, and you know he had a really, very silly sense of humour. He daft. He loved you know daft stuff as well as you know all is is all these sort of surreal and strange and brilliant sort of <laughs> imaginative routines. And we just kind of got on really well. And he came back to the house, and we just moved in to this flat, and we'd only been in there a few weeks. And uh, my uh, uh, my mum and dad had sent a piano from the house. My old upright piano and it had just arrived and we sort of got it into the flat and we had a <laughs> we had a sort of proper old <laughs> sing song around the piano with with like a book of I had some music and we just dug out some songs and we just sang these songs and I just thought we just that uh, that night I just remember thinking this is someone I'll, mm. I'll be friends with for a long time. Oh that's wonderful. I think he was one of those wasn't he that so many people whenever they saw him, he just put a smile on their face. And I think I was one of the many people who, when he sadly passed away, I went back and watched loads of his YouTube clips. There's yeah. one bit that I, I actually saved it on my phone. I wrote it down. It's when Jimmy Carr says to him, do you ever show your sensitive side? And Sean came back with this. He says, yeah, I've shown it twice. Once to my wife and another time I slowed down for a horse. I just think <laughs> he was... He had that brilliant <laughs> ability, didn't he, to surprise you with his comedy. Was he like yeah. that in private as well as in public? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, Sean was always funny, in it, and he was funny in a natural way. He wasn't like, you know, say sometimes comedians are always on. You know, they like they just, you know, they mm -hmm. can't switch off. He was just funny all the time, and he was, you know, great company. Um, and you know, he would, he was just. Uh, we'd have these brilliant conversations. We'd go for long walks. In fact, walking was one of the things he loved doing. And we'd go on these great long walks, and he'd talk about everything. I mean, he was he was interested in so many subjects. He was interested in politics and philosophy and history. And we'd have these great big long sort of conversations, quite serious sometimes, you know, quite involved. Mm. But then again, you know, he was also he would never miss opportunity for a laugh or a gag, you know. And uh, um, so yeah, you know, time spent with Sean, you'd always end up laughing.